If your system is not compatible with Windows 11 or Windows 10, and you are tired of using Windows 7, then you should definitely consider trying out Atlas OS with this operating system. You can experience the look and feel of Windows 10 on a PC with just 1 GB of RAM. The most exciting part is that you can install the Play Store directly on this operating system without the need for any emulator. In today's video, I will guide you on how to install Atlas OS alongside your existing Windows without causing any harm to your current system. To install Atlas OS, you'll need a USB drive with at least 4 GB of storage. And your system should have a separate partition with at least 20 GB of free space. So let's start the video. Let's roll. The links to these two files will be available in the comment box. Normally, if you visit Atlas OSO official website, you won't find any download links there. You'll need to download them using the links provided by me. However, on their website, you can gather a lot of important information related to the operating system. Let's begin with the installation process. First, you need to insert the pen drive into your PC and then run Rufus. After that, you will see an interface like this. Click on this button and select the Atlas OS ISO. Once you've selected the ISO, this option will automatically change to GPT. You need to change it according to your PC. If your system is MBR based, select MBR. If it's GPT based, select GPT. If you're unsure about your system being MBR or GPT, simply go to the start menu, search for format hard disk, and then choose this option. Now, you need to move the mouse pointer to the hard disk, right-click, and go to its properties. After that, navigate to the Volume tab. As you can see, my system is MBR-based, so I'll select MBR. Keep the other options as they are, and click on the Start button. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to complete, so wait patiently during this process. 2,000 years later. After the process is complete, simply restart your PC. As soon as your PC restarts, you need to press the boot key multiple times. In my case, for my Dell laptop, the boot key is F12. It might be different for your laptop depending on the brand. Once you access the boot menu, choose the option for USB storage devices, and your pen drive will boot. Now, the loading has started and it will take three to four minutes, so be patient. After loading is complete, you'll see an interface like this. Check this option and click on Next. Now, select the partition. Make sure to select a partition where there is no data. After selecting the hard drive, click on Next and the installation will start. After the installation is complete, your PC will restart and then the loading process for Atlas OS will begin. After the loading is complete, you will see the dual boot menu from where you can choose to boot into your previous windows as well. However, for now, I will select the option with Windows 10. In the next step, you will need to set up your Windows, so let me quickly set it up. After setting up, you will see a command prompt, and you should not close it. Let the process complete, and it may take around 20 to 25 minutes. Once the process is complete, your PC will restart again. Here, our Atlas OS has been successfully installed, and you can see how much faster it is compared to Windows 10. The special feature of this OS is that you won't find any unnecessary apps, which results in lower RAM consumption. On the desktop, you will find a folder containing some extra apps that you can manually install. Overall, it is an excellent OS especially for gaming, and it works smoothly even on very old PC. If you are still using Windows 7 or XP in today's time, you are making a mistake. You should definitely try this OSS, especially if you want to use 64-bit apps on a 2GB RAM PC. If you have installed this OS but are not satisfied with its performance, you can easily remove it from your system. Simply go to your old Windows. After that, go to Start Menu and type msconfig. After that, you need to go to the Boot tab. Set the Windows that you want to keep in your system as the default OS. If you want to remove any other OS for your system, select that OS and choose the Delete option. After that, go to my computer, select the partition where Atlas OS is installed and format it. 
Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked the video, and if it was helpful for you in any way, please make sure to like it. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can check out these other videos as well. They might be helpful for you. Thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video.